Okay guys, so we're gonna do a follow, follow along movement where we're squatting down to help us learn to not actually achieve a perfect squat or anything like that, but just to work towards someday in the future having like a good, you know, solid squat. You know, um, and as, as we do it, we're gonna, we're gonna do lots of like funny movements and I'm going to explain principles of movement stabilization to you. So as you follow along, not only will you improve your body, but you'll understand like ways to think about your body as well. Um, yeah, so basically if, you're, if you haven't done it already, just get into just basically this position. Just, just start on your toes, right? Like, I don't know, maybe if you've already got a good squat, you can do it <laughs> straight to your feet, but most people cannot squat on their feet without like severely compromising some other part of the structure. Like for example, if I was to do it, right? Okay, sure, I'm on my feet, right? That's great. Just try to do what I'm doing as well. Just like experience this feeling for yourself. But it's like, you know, my back is all like, ah, right? It's just like, ah, it's just like totally forward, okay? So our first, you know, little exercise that we're gonna do to get some improvement here, now that we've been down there for a little while, is just to do one foot on the ground and other one just on the ball of your foot, right? Like that, right? And from here, like, let's really try to get some stability, okay? Like, I was thinking about this last night. There's this concept called balance. Obviously, you're aware of this concept called balance. And most people don't have perfect balance. Most people are just like, it's a little bit wonky, a little bit shaky. You know, like, imagine like a, uh, let's say a wrestler, you know, like a, a professional wrestler who, you know, kind of like starts on their feet. And by the way, I don't need to give you more instruction, by the way, like this will take its effect. If you just stay there, it will take effect. Like, don't worry about what's happening too much. Just like be there, get tired, right? To make your body really work for, work for itself. It's like, oh geez, how do I freaking do this position? This is hard. I've been here so long. Don't worry, it's figuring out how to do it. So you imagine this wrestler, right? Other person's trying to like throw them basically off balance and you have to keep balance. Like someone like that, or like a 12 year old Chinese gymnast would have fantastic, perfect balance. Like, just like, whoosh, just like total perfect centering and connection to the ground and able to just sense stillness and perfectly stabilize. See, most people don't have that. So maybe you're feeling like this area stretching out. That's a good thing. And any anywhere that's like a stretching here, I think is good. And you should definitely be like giving a little bit of focus to your pelvis. Because the pelvis is meant to like relax down. But if you can't do a perfect squat, I guarantee you, when you try to get down, like your pelvis, like, is like anteriorly tilting. Like, the back would be too tense, right? The back is like pulling. So what's happening here is like, you're getting this um, real effort happening. It's like, ah, oh, it's so hard. Like you've been up on like one, just the balls of your feet, totally tucked down like this for a few minutes. So it's difficult, right? It's actually difficult. So that's okay though. Try now, now that you, you're feeling like, oh man, my foot's really been there. Now try to like actually demand performance from your body in that position. 
and try to like, instead of it just being like, oh, it's like just bunched up and sore and like, oh, effort. Try to like really take control of what what's happening. Because, you know, I, we talk about like stability, right? And how some people are super stable, but almost n no one else is. Like any, anyone in the mainstream, you might as well try this by the way. Let's just do a little wrist thing, wrist stretch while we're at it. Why not, right? This will probably do well for the shoulders. It will kind of probably connect the feet, actually. This will be like a good, like, all fours balance exercise. We'll get back to the point in a moment. Yeah, so by this point, we're, we're just on both, you know, ball things of the feet. And just, there's no um, favoritism to one side or anything. It's a symmetrical, like we're aiming for a symmetrical posture here. Okay, so let me see if I know where I'm going with this point. Most people have shit balance. And that's ridiculous. Like, why do people have bad balance? You're meant to have perfect balance. Do you see animals with like bad balance? <laughs> like some dog that's like, ooh, a bit wonky here. You know, most people kind of like throw themselves forward when walking. It's very, very uncommon that you see someone with like a perfect, like graceful, just like whoosh walk. Most people like walk stiffly or wonky. Something's wrong with it. Like, and do you know how I know this? Like how I know this to be a complete fact that almost everyone is terrible because I can see it. Like I can observe it in the world. It's just so clear. It's just, it's just like, like I know lemons are yellow and oranges are orange and an apple can be red and green. It's just, you know, just like fact. It's just, you just look around and people have got like forward head posture and some people got interior pelvic tilt and people walk stiffly and like any, anyone, almost anyone, you could go up to them and go, whoosh, <laughs> and they just complete, completely fall off balance, right? They'd be like, whoa. And you know, no one can fight. Like I've, I'm only just learning. I just go erratically for, I've been going for about a year, but pretty erratically. So I doubt I've had more than a hundred hours. And you're meant to be able to do that, right? So people can't do anything. Like no, and, and no one can squat. Like you go to Asia, Kazakhstan, I want to be into, but anywhere, man, anywhere in Asia, what they do is they just squat like this on the fucking ground and eat their lunch and talk and play a game or smoke a cigarette. You see, anyone ever in the history of your life, maybe you've seen one person, I mean, in, in the West, not happening. I forgot to do this thing. This thing's definitely good. You can try to have your hands take some of the weight. I reckon that's a good idea. See, I just come up with this shit, right? Like it comes into my, like my body goes, hey, what about this? And I'm like, I think my body just gave me an idea. I'll do this and then I just do it and then I tell you. you know, <laughs> like, I reckon guided movements like this need to become a thing. Like that's what I've been thinking recently, like, more and more people should do guided movements and explain movement because it just doesn't happen. There's like, my coaches do it. Ara Westerberg and Egonero, they're in the description, info about this stuff. And, you know, some other people do it, but they do it so lame. Like for example, consider there's this yoga channel that it's pretty cool, called Boho Beautiful, and you know, she's very beautiful, and she's, she's got like a perfect body that any, almost any woman would desire, many women would desire, I'm pretty certain about that, 
and she does the yoga and she says, says I'll do this and then do that and then do this and then do that but she doesn't tell her what if you can't do it <laughs> you try it and it's like oh this hurts or you try for a while and it doesn't work out let's um yeah let's go like this Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good position. So I'm pretty sure it's easy to see what I'm doing. I got both feet on the ground, heels and toes. And you know, in the middle as well. I'm trying to have like my feet go down as naturally as possible. And I've got my you know fingertips and thumb tip on the ground. Well not the tip, <laughs> like the, the pad, the pads, right? And I've got that funny part of your hand that's at the base of your fingers and the top of the bulk of your hand, like, or whatever. So we're standing on all fours, but this time from the back. So like, that means that the middle of us can probably just like completely hang, right? Like, your pelvis in this position should be able to just basically hang down, I would say. Like, you should be able to completely rest your lower back because you know, it's just like hanging in the middle down there, you know? Hmm, that's a pretty good position. That's a pretty epic position, to be honest. When you do this stuff, like, you figure out new positions that you've never been in before. Some, yeah, like, oh, we could just uh, go like this, probably. Oh, it's funny, this is one of the moves that Arrow teaches in his Movement 20XX course. It's like some sort of, is it, I don't know if it's the crab or something like that, but he, he has these animal walks, right? So you do these animal walks. And one of them's like, <laughs> fucking, fucking like that. That's pretty funny. But like, you forget even trying to move like a crab. You know, that can be useful. But like, what you really want to do is you want to learn like these completely static positions. And get balance in them. Like you just stay in them for so long that you force your body to um, figure out what to do. Ooh, getting a bit like non-morse, like pins and needles kind of thing starting. Try squeezing your glutes and stuff here. Hmm, this one's pretty good. I wonder what else we could do. See how you just have to be like completely... Try this. Ah, oh, that's fucking hot. Yikes. Oh, knees feel so stiff from this position. You know, the legs should be like really free in this position. It makes like engineering style sense. Like if the pelvis is just hanging down, this leg is just, I don't know, it should have like a really just like centered free base to work from. Whoosh. Not really focusing on the shoulders, so the shoulders would definitely be doing the wrong thing. But I'm not really dealing with that at the moment. We just do, do these ones, by the way. Like anything you see me do, just like if I forget to tell you, take responsibility and just do it yourself. But that's crazy. Yeah, let let like your pelvis go down, like don't just rotate like that, go, go on like that, it's funny, but then you can also do this, that's pretty good, this is a really good position, there's so many weird, ex like, cool exercises you can do, like usually it's like, sitting, standing, you know, on the ground, on your side, but like we don't choose very, like, very, very many particularly creative, positions from which to do an exercise. 
Like, it should be like, oh, take the this position. It doesn't even have a name, but it's heaps good. It's like such a good position. It's almost like a fundamental position. I don't know what you would use it for, but it seems pretty fundamental. To be like on your hands and feet, like in a backward direction as opposed to forwards like normal. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Stop there. <sighs> okay, if you want to keep up with these things, subscribe. Um, and also look out for other style videos that I make. Like I want to do like movement videos like this. And I also want to do just like videos about stuff that I'm interested in and be like, here's my freaking opinion on this. I think that'll be pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, subscribe if you're interested in that. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.